Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is part of creating different types of charts in Power BI and today I am going to cover the clustered column chart. So let's load the new data set. Uh, just uh, let's load the financial sample data. So once the data will be loaded, uh, it will be appearing inside the field section. You can already see I have a one uh, data set here. Uh, the order data which I have used in the previous video and the new data set uh, the new frame will be appear like that where you have different set of tables and whatever you want you can select it from here so for now I am selecting the financial table and then clicking the load button so once uh, the load button will be clicked the data the table will be appear within a few seconds inside the field section and then we can start uh, looking different types of fields or column which is present inside that uh, table okay so let's wait for uh, the data to load it so as you can see that uh, the financial data the financial table has been loaded here and uh, we have the different columns here so first let's go and see what data it contains so it contains uh, let's select the financial table so it contains the sigma uh, it contains the segment country product type i mean product uh, discount brand brand unit sold manufacturing price sales price gross sales discount sales cogs profit date month month name and year okay so let's use this data to create a clustered column chart for creating clustered column chart you just need to go into the visualization and click it this column okay the fourth option so let's uh, first uh, uh, do some formatting to size resizing this chart and then we go to the this financial table and select uh, uh, let's select the country actually we have country column right yeah so select the country inside the x-axis okay and then we will select again the sales cogs gross sales and the profit so let's arrange them so make the gross sales at the first place because gross sales is higher as compared to other then sales then cogs means cost of gross uh, good okay and then profit okay so you can see now we have a country column uh, i mean country at x axis and the sales different type of sales like uh, uh, gross sales, sales, COGS and profit into the y-axis. So let's do some formatting. For doing that we need to go to the second tab which is the format your visuals. Uh, go to the x-axis. Let's assign uh, increase the font size to 12 and make this color should be the black so that it can be visual clearly. In the title section, we can make them auto. In case size is already 12, color is already black, so keep as it is. Into the y axis, a range maybe minimum or maximum, you can keep as auto. If you wanted to make them zero, you can just assign the zero, otherwise, leave it. Inside the values, let's increase the font size first to 12, and this color should be black and then title is let keep title is on so title is yeah the size and font color is good uh, legend we take it from the top left to the top right so that it can be clearly visible you can see uh, right now this uh, I mean it was here in the top left now it's the top right so then you can see all the uh, legend text increase the size from 10 to 12 
and the color will be black so that it can uh, visible clearly and next option is uh, we don't need title so remove it no need to worry about that uh, in the columns we let change the data color so let's make second as a yellow is some yellow color and then make third will be the green let's uh, assign this one as uh, let's keep as you no need to change the color for all of it so data labels so keep the data labels on so that you can see the data uh their values okay and uh, go inside the data label then inside the values make them everything 12 the font size will be the 12 and then color will be the black okay uh, the color will be the pure black and then one more setting from the general we will go and uh, uh, give some background to this chart and assign this gray one and then the borders for the visuals so the visual borders make them one okay and if you want uh, to give some title name just to go to the title and give the proper name like uh, you can say uh, a comparison or simple like a comparison between sales gross sales sales cogs and profit So, yeah, you can see uh, this clustered column chart is ready and I hope uh, this video uh, made you clear how to create a clustered column chart in Power BI. If you like my video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.